What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. Skip do da 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 boo doo bell. <laughs> we, wow, <laughs> we got you, brother. We're here wow. for you. Wow, that was it. Could have been way worse. That could have been. There's no. It, it could have way worse. Yeah, it could have just been me doing it. <laughs> I didn't. I uh, I didn't scat today. I'm recovering. Yes. I don't have a lot of air. But it, you're back. I am. And yeah, our we, show is back. Yeah, I know. I know. We missed. We missed a couple episodes. I'm sorry. These things happen. This is the Spitballers uh, podcast, episode seventy-one. We've got would would you rather on the show? Mm-hmm. We've got the return. Oh, oh yes, yes. Of is this real life? <laughs> I've got a good one for is you today, fellas. Wasn't that the name of the, the? Remember the Mummy? Was the second movie the Return of the Mummy? Yeah, I believe so. That was the name of it, right? Uh, the Return of Blank. It's a pretty standard. Well, I <laughs> sequel name. The Mummy's in my head because the other night. <laughs> why, why are you going? I know. The mummy? I, know. I was Bren- curious. Brendan too. Fraser, like. We don't have a lot of movie nights around the house unless it's like, you know, really something new came out and like everybody watches the new movie, right? Like there's not a lot of opportunities where we're like, man, going to the archives and we're a movie night every Friday. We have pizza yeah, movie night. I'm, uh, you're very cool. You're awesome. <laughs> but I, some say the best. But like my 10 year old and I, we had a night alone. And I said, I'm just going to do this up. We're going to we're going to do like a, a movie night. We're going to make popcorn. We're going to watch a movie. I bet it was awesome. And I'm trying to think of, I was trying to think of classic movies to watch with my son. (laughs) He went Um, with the mummy? And for some reason, the mummy came into my head of like, (laughs) this is one of those things that happens when you like think about old DVDs you have. I was like, what are some, he likes action movies. All right. I'm like, is there an old action movie that I would watch? Right? Like, so Indiana Jones came into my head. Mm -hmm. Probably should have came in before the mummy. Probably. But the mummy came up. Many steps before the mummy. We ended up watching, um. Uh, Captain Marvel instead, but oh, all right. All right. but all we right. almost we almost watched the, the Mummy. Mu- the Mummy. Wait, but were you going to go right to the Mummy Returns? No, no. I the <laughs> don't first, worry about so, the first one, son. This is this yes. is it. This is the jam. Is not mummy really, two. The Mummy. But then I watched the original trailer for the Mummy, and man, it, is I thought it looked better than what the trailer looked like. <laughs> Let me just put it that <laughs> yeah, way. Yeah, not all movies hold up. My favorite part, though, you're back. You're, you're, you know, g- still getting over your illness. My favorite part, though, is the transition that happened here that went from, we've got, is this real life? Wait a minute. What about the mummy, too? <laughs> Wait a minute. We he, watched Captain Marvel. He the, really the, likes the, the mummy. The path here was, is this real life? Somehow that reminded him that he yeah, didn't watch the mummy, too. We, first of all, this show is called The Spitballer. Second of all, I said, is this real life returns? And it's here. Ah, and then the, maybe I thought you wanted to maybe spitball about Brendan Fraser for a second. Maybe well, we could have fun. I wa- look, maybe I, we could have fun on the show. We're going to have so much fun. And I look, I'm, I'm all down for spitballing. I thought when you were talking about the is this real life, you were going to bring up like the source of that phrase. You guys mm-hmm. know that, right? Where the no, is like this real life comes from? No, that it was this really famous viral video of a kid who I think went to the dentist and got... Oh got yeah, yeah. he got he got the gas. narcotics in the. But I'm gonna I'm gonna dare to put this out there that the phrase "Is this real life?" was uttered far before the invention of the internet. Yes, of course, but not as funny as that kid who was. Have you had that experience? The gas? Yes. The gas or I think we talked about this coming out of anesthesia of how I had the gas oh, for my wisdom teeth and like. Then I got super paranoid Jason always that my, has the my gas. mom was there. Yeah, I, I make other people question, is this real life yeah. when they're around me all At the time? Spitballers Pod on Twitter. SpitballersPod.com is the website. Send us your questions. Send us your ideas for the all show. Your Draft complaints. ideas. <laughs> Send us your complaints. We'll round file them. Mm-hmm. And uh, thank you for subscribing, reviewing the show, Apple Podcasts, wherever you're listening. And I think we're just going to go ahead and kick this off. 
Would you rather? You guys ever seen The Mummy? <laughs> All right. I have. Classic cinematic masterpiece. What? So th- that got me thinking about Brendan Fraser. And what I, it's, happened? Well, it stands to reason, right? Brendan Fraser, peak Brendan Fraser time, but he was an A list guy. Yes. Like, he had reached that status. And then you were saying, okay, well, what, let's spitball about fr- Brendan Fraser. And, and I wanted to immediately go to Encino Man. And then I was drawing blanks. Like, what, George of the Jungle. What are the. What is the pinnacle? What is the greatest cinematic masterpiece that Brendan Fraser is involved in? It's the Mummy or Encino Man. <laughs> yeah, that's it for sure. I mean, this was not a peak you hang around at, but he you go right down the mountain. He was already riding high. That's how we got in the Mummy. Like, how did we get here? I don't know. But George of the Jungle, I watched a lot of that as a kid, and I watched uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth. It's actually pretty good. There you go. It's a good family movie, but. What man, what a world. When Brendan Fraser was a list celebrity. All right, Tori, an official spitwad has a would you rather question for us. Would you all uh rather always arrive everywhere one hour early or fifteen minutes late? Hmm. Man. That I, is it's you, it's you, very easy for it me. It is for me too. I think it's easy for me, but it's easy for me in different <laughs> periods of my life. Like I, I have different answers. For where What I'm about at. your Victorian period? So in my Victorian period, you always arrive an hour early. Okay, what about like the your Jurassic period? The Jurassic period, way too late. You gotta you gotta come mm. late, otherwise you're already extinct. Oh, smart. Um, so this is easy for both of you guys. Yes. And I have a can I just guess? I know you we've I, seated the microphone to you. I, I'm just saying I'm gonna take a guess. Okay. I'm going to guess Andy is the hour early for sure. Without question. Yeah. I mean, preparation. Yeah. Uh, I've got a phone. I can play on my phone if I show up someplace early. Mm-hmm. Mike, I'm going to say you're the 15 minutes late, you know, fashionably. Mm. Mm. I think Mike's early. You, that, that's what you think of me? I, you think I'm a 15 minute late? Is because I got a beard? <laughs> and some I'm tattoos? A <laughs> no way. It's not late. Lateness is one of my biggest pet peeves. I can't. Really? I cannot. It's insulting. Stand. I cannot stand being late. I feel incredibly rude. I have wasted your time. I have. I have said to you with my actions. I said, I'm more important than you. Wow. Wow. I'm, I can't. I'm blown away. I I'm can't. So proud handle of you. Lateness. Yeah, Papa over here is. I mean, you're late for sure, Jay. <laughs> oh, I'm a hundred percent. Like without a doubt, I'm not showing up an hour early to everything. <laughs> That, my life is the, over. The hour early part sucks. Yeah, to and be I, to be that or like, I mean, that is my father. When, when it comes to oh, airlines, is he a super early. Yes, and especially when it comes to flying. I, my dad, you know, they they recommend show up two hours early for a domestic flight, which is already an outrageous amount of time. My pops is like, nah. We should probably get there at least three hours early just to be safe. And that's when you just roll right through security and then you go, well, this, yes, this And sucks. that's when you, your travel day feels like an extra hour in the airport feels like your travel day has now taken to this the new limit. I know we have two people. I'm making eyes with our producers and they're both like, I they have a flight next week. They're thinking about leaving right now. <laughs> Is it's that true. right, Al? You're not wrong. Yeah, yeah Brooks and I traveled and a lot I'm, together this summer, and we were me. both on board with getting there several hours early for each flight. And it doesn't even matter how right. early it is. Like, like there's no, there's no situation where no that limit. won't hold for them. If the flight leaves at seven in the morning, and so it's like, oh, we got to get there by five. They're there at two in the morning. <laughs> yeah, like we're sleeping. going, we're going to bed there. The thought of being late to a flight or an event is so much worse. And they're both nodding, smiling. Then, ooh, I have to wait a little longer, but I know I'm going to make it, right? Is that the thought? Yeah, they're both like, this is why we put our gear and planning in their hands when we tour. And I'm so thankful for that. I have done the airport run. where Oh, like the Home Alone run? Yes. I mean, pretty much a full Home home Alone run where my wife and I were going on our our 10-year anniversary. So this is a big trip. This is Hawaii. Like, I planned this thing forever ago, and did your heart explode? Dude, Were you stressed out of your mind? Yeah, that drive, because the drive from my house to the airport, it's a, it's a forty five minute, and it was just full adrenaline the entire thing. Where you road clock, road clock, road oh, yeah. clock, road <laughs> clock, and just go. 
Okay. And now, whose fault was it? Good question. Super important. I like to be early. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not going to name names. <laughs> but it wasn't But it was you. my wife. It was not me. <laughs> Fantastic. We almost missed the freaking plane, oh, man. Oh, man. I would have been... Uh. I would have been pulling my hair out. But the thing is for me. What hair? Oh, <laughs> Kobe. <my. laughs> yes. Oh, man. Give it to me. That's fantastic. Mike's on a roll here. I'm laughing. You just can't hear it. Yeah. Um, I feel like at this point in my life, this period of my life, 15 minutes late is fine. I'm not in school. I don't. Look, we own we own our own company. I sure. show up 15 minutes late. I'm being rude to myself, you know? And and to also care. myself sure. and Andy and sure. Owl and Judge Diamati. Well, you know, either, neither here nor there. <laughs> but I think that most times in my life, I run a little behind schedule. Sure. I don't try to. In fact, I try to get there 15 minutes ahead of schedule so that I get there on time. Have you ever tried to get somewhere 30 minutes early? Oh, man. See, this is why I'm well, taking the 15 minutes ridiculous? late, because getting there too early is a nightmare. You ever show up to a party too early? Yeah, it's that sucks. You ever the first one there, no one's there, and it's like, oh, yeah. hey, Bob, See, we, <laughs> how's it going? We actually ran into a bit of a snafu with the early show. Like, I'm an early planner, too. I, I, but when you have an, uh, someone invites you over for dinner, they give you a time, mm -hmm. right? And it would be kind of rude. To like impose upon them early. Yes. 100%. Right? You're because not ready they're, yet. They're not ready. They might not be, you know, everything sorted out. You don't want them to feel stressed. We got invited over for dinner. We had to bring a pie. Well, the pie was melting. And we got to the house too early. What kind? Mm. The pie so the was pie, melting? Yeah, there was all this whipped cream all over the top of the oh, pie. Oh, okay. I was like, what? So I had to make the decision, do I impose upon the guests or let this pie melt for mm. 15 minutes in the car? You should have ate the pie. Oh, that's a good good answer. <laughs> and good then answer. Found a different pie. Um, All right, that's true. If you are my house guest, <laughs> you're late. coming over for dinner. Sorry, I had to go get a different pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> please let the pie melt. <laughs> Because, because I never... just got out of the shower, and I am not ready for you to show up yet. See, I thought you were going to go, please bring in the pie. I'd like to eat it 15 minutes before you're, I was supposed to. Um, yeah, so I'm taking, the, I'm taking the late one here. But it doesn't work for all, all stages of your Yeah, life. flights? If, you can't show up 15 minutes no, late no, no. for a No, no, no. Showing flight. 15 minutes late is showing up one hour and 45 minutes early here. I'm it, not showing up it? 15 minutes. Okay. Because you don't go to your plane. One news report about showing up three hours, two hours early to a flight has ruined the lives of hundreds of thousands of Americans for generations. <laughs> because once it's in your head that that's what you got to do, I thought it your was, dad heard that report, but and for 20 years he showed up three hours early. I think that's actually the... Because one day there was a busy day, and then it defined everything else. That's like their official stance, though. Like I TSA. think airlines Yeah, because yeah, they, want they want to say that they, they gave you... They want you in the airport shops. Spending your money. This this is an outrage. I just figured it out. Well, if you're there two hours early, what are you doing? Yeah. I'm buying crap. We're being manipulated. This by Big Air. By Big <laughs> I like that's the nickname of this show. Big Air. Big Air. Um, let's move on. Would you rather? Sawyer from Twitter says, would you rather have to eat everything with hot sauce for the rest mm. of your life or never have any seasonings or sauces of any kind from now on. <sighs> rough. That is rough. I can hot sauce a lot of things, but if I had to eat it for every meal, it would be, be too much. Not, Cereal not is to done. Mention, Cereal's done. Desserts are done. You're never yeah. going to be like, I want to, you know, you're going to do a bowl of ice cream with your hot sauce? Andy might. No. That sucks. <laughs> Well, sure, but if it was if it was no ice cream or ice cream with hot sauce, which well, one you take? No ice cream. It just he can eat the ice cream, but then his chicken nuggets have no ranch. The salad has no Thousand Island. I would still go that way. The fries I think have I can, no ketchup. I, uh, yeah, or salt. Yeah, I know salt is gone. Yeah, but I I just think you'd be eliminating so many foods by taking away, by forcing hot sauce onto everything. Not to mention the heartburn. Oh, yes. I mean, that would be real. 
not just heartburn either. Here's your garlic bread. Now, for You'd my be hurting nuts. all over your body. To you make would. this realistic. Now, we're saying, like, we'll just call it Frank's Red. Right? This yeah. isn't like Cause it's, yeah. scorch my mouth, you know, crazy hot ghost pepper hot sauce. This sure, is just I don't care. The flavor of everything is going to be a delicious hot sauce, which does not go with everything. It does not. I s- you can't take the hot you sauce. You want to have a cookie? Enjoy your cookies. You want to have a... Uh, you know, most things don't go with hot sauce, believe you it or not. You say you can't take the hot sauce, but I feel like... I feel like I can't not have... Condiments? I can't have bland food everywhere. No condiments. I'm never going to have that is real ketchup, bland. No ranch, seasonings or sauces. mustard seasonings. Here's, Do you know how much weight I'm going to lose? It's going to be great. It's going to that'd be great. I my, my problem with hot sauce is I know that the whole advertising campaign that they like to lean on as the hot sauce is you put it on everything because it enhances the flavor, and I say no. It just makes everything taste like hot sauce, like, right? Which is good. I like hot you know sauce. Cholula? Cholula, yeah, I love Cholula. So I'm sitting over here, trying to figure out to bring up to you guys. Do you, have you guys ever seen? Um, oh, it's not Cholula, is it? What's the other big hot sauce? There's Frank's. There's Tabasco. Tabasco. Oh, it's Tabasco. I've heard of it. So I, so the Tabasco people, that is like a family trade secret. Have you seen this? They, they're yeah. on their own they island. They're on their own island. Except for I was looking for Cholula Island, <laughs> but I ended up, I ended up finding Chihuahua Island. <laughs> what? Fantastic. Oh, wait, hold on. There's Chihuahua, a Chihuahua island? island? Is this a television show as well? It's an island. Um, you've been stranded on Chihuahua Island, an island inhabited, inhabited by only Chihuahuas. It seems made up. That would be scary, man. Could could you imagine you're on a stranded island, but all over the island are chihuahuas? This is the the rabbit hole I went down. And guess all what the while, is. just trying to find oh, Tabasco no. Island. But they that whole family they own that that Tabasco family. It's all s- secretive too. Why don't we have like a Ballers Island? That's well, a great. You know what I mean? Like I also, feel like our business is. I've doing got well. no problem with it. Are you telling me that in this day and age where we can take satellites? in outer space, look down and read someone's wristwatch. People can't figure out how to reverse engineer Tabasco sauce? This hasn't happened yet? I I well, no, they the have, same. but they've been uh, they've been eliminated. Oh, they're very, Whoa. very powerful. Like the they, mob? The Some Tabasco? people have reverse engineered it, but the Tabasco. them? I'm gonna drown them. Wow. They that sleep with them. the fishes. They drown them, they drown them in, <laughs> in Tabasco. Yeah, they do. <laughs> My eyes! I feel like if they dropped you in a vat of Tabasco, you you would disintegrate within two weeks. I'm like, not, even I'm if not you get out? To... Yeah. No, no. <laughs> like, just... <laughs> I got out, but I'm just... Kill me. Kill me. Do you guys like Tabasco? I so like I'm, Frank's. I'm going to admit something here. Tabasco's too spicy for me. Oh, that's I'm okay. A, I'm a wimp. Here's the thing. Let me talk about all you tough guys. I don't like the flavor of Tabasco. All you, me either. I mean, I, it's okay in, in, in moderation, like most things. Um, but all the tough guys out there, you know who you are. And you know super who... Super Spicers. The Super Spice that's like, okay, this doesn't taste good. The Spice Girls. This doesn't <laughs> taste. You actually cannot taste anything after putting this on your tongue. Yeah. Because it has ruined your mouth. You're not cool. You're sweating, but you're like, oh, it's so delicious. It just, <laughs> no, it's great. I don't even feel it. You lying. You're not cool because your mouth can eat fire. I just, that's such, we did pet peeve drafts. I that think this needed the, to come up. The spice the king. Surface. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't taste good just because it destroys your mouth oh no it doesn't af- affect my mouth i love a lot of spice oh i'm that's... a spice lord give me all those ghost peppers <laughs> nom, nom, nom. look how cool i am and you and they all go home and cry and then oh, they go sure. i was so cool by today. the way do you have any preparation h <laughs> <laughs> also no. owned by the tabasco family <laughs> of course it is oh yeah, they're they, they're cornering the market on <laughs> bidets. Yes, and they spice up your life H. on both sides. Yeah, it's it, we've uncovered a lot here between that and the airport secretly getting you in there early so you can buy duty free <laughs> items. Um, um, that being said, I'm taking the hot sauce because I need my condiments in my mm. life. Okay, all right. Make it totter from Patreon. Would you rather every single day wake up from an absolutely horrific nightmare? 
and be relieved that everything is okay. <laughs> or wake up from the greatest dream ever only to feel disappointment Ooh. that none of it was real. Interesting. So, waking up from a great dream, it can be very tilting. It can be very tilting when you are still in that. It's not very long, but you know that the morning fog where... The, you knew the, it was real. The, you knew it the was The dream real. and the reality, slowly the fabric is, is torn apart and you realize... And that's immediately when you try to get back to sleep. Yes. <laughs> You're always yeah. like, I can get back I'm there. I'm coming back. I can, I can You've get been back able there. to continue dreams, right? I, I have before. I've yes. only done it once. I've done it several times, but every time that it fails, it's the worst. And now I'm stuck in this world. Yeah, I've continued dreams a lot, but only if I wake up at like 2, 3 in the morning with Right. Me. In the, if you wake up in the early morning, you think about, oh, maybe I could sleep a little longer. And you never get back there. But I mean, I feel like having a better real life. So the life, so now in this I question. I mean, I guess the life could be your life no matter what. In this question, you're not waking up from a great dream and having a bad day, right? Like, well, it's you, not a, like. A bit because you're disappointed. Sure, you're disappointed that you're not there. You start, but your days are the same. I'm, I'm, I'm just asking. No, I think you're right on this question. Whether you have the bad dream or the good dream, you wake up to a neutral day. Yes, it is a neutral day, but every morning is a disappointment, as opposed to a relief. Yes, because if you had a bad dream, sure. you wake up and you're like, "Whoo, back to my normal now, day." It's it might be weird, but assuming it's there, there are certain bad dreams, like bad dreams involving your kids. No. No, those are the absolute worst. But nightmares, spiders. But like an, a zombie nightmare, I I actually enjoy these. You're where, in. Where I wake up. You I, like the relief? You just, it's so crazy that you're in this this horrific situation that, you know, it's not possible in the real world. There's no zombies. But I enjoy a good zombie dream. Even when it's a nightmare and I wake up, I'm like, oh, man. Oh, oh I'm so glad that was not. Real. And then he turns over and tries to go back to sleep. I want to get back there. Like, oh, man, that was kind of cool. Now, now that I know I'm safe. I am mean, I too old? I don't have, like, dreams like that anymore. I, it's not very often that What's they happen. What's the last Where's scary, my imagination? Where's the last nightmare you guys have had? A zombie nightmare. You And how long ago was that? <sighs> it's long long enough that I don't, re I don't remember when it happened. And what about you, Andy? When's the last nightmare you've had? You just, something really, you woke up in a sweat because... Old enough to not remember. That's how I feel. Really? You've, you've never had like an adult nightmare? Look, not in a long time. Huh. Or, it, you know, if it's an adult nightmare, it's something like uh, my wife, like she's married to someone else. Yes, that, that's what and I mean. Like, like I've had a couple of those. Oh, no. But like I used to watch cartoons as a kid. And play imagination and build things. And I imagine that fed the nightmare dream world where I used to have this re reoccurring dream where this, this I was building a brick house around myself and a bear would break down the brick wall and come after me. What kind of bear? Big old grizzly. Ooh, Ooh. terrifying. Yeah, it's been a long time for me. Um, I don't really, I can't think of, I, I remember a lot of reoccurring nightmares I had when I was a kid. But as an adult, I haven't really had them. And so, obviously, I think the answer for everybody here is you'd rather just have the great dream and then wake up and have a fine day rather than, oh, yeah, I had a horrifically bad dream, but now I've got the same day. So I'm going to re I'm gonna rework this question just, just a little. Would you rather have a nightmare every single night and wake up and you're fine? Or would you rather have your wives... Have a dream where you've cheated it on them, <laughs> and you wake up and have to deal with the ramifications. You know what you did of doing nothing but <laughs> totally upsetting your wives because we've all been there. It's, when I dude, I did the opposite <laughs> like two weeks ago. It was you, I, yes, because we've talked about this all the time. I actually had the dream, and I couldn't get over it. Oh yeah, it's like. What For did like she do? Hours. You know that there's something behind this. For hours, I couldn't get over it. Do you, do, do you have the thought of like, maybe my subconscious <laughs> knows something <laughs> oh, that no. I don't know? Because oh, maybe that's no. what they're thinking when when they have the dream. It's like, uh, I didn't, I don't have anything on the side here. This is. No, I just had the acknowledgement that I must be very insecure and needing of affirmation. Mm. Mm. A, a good self-reflection. Because I'm saying good on this you. case. Give me them nightmares. Yes. <laughs> Give me them nightmares now, it, every it helped, night. It helped that the, the gentleman in this dream was like 
not good looking and worked at like Barnes and Noble or something. Wait, oh, that would be or that, worse. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, I would say it helped. Oh, dang it! I always thought that was better. No, now you're so telling me it's worse, worse her, because it could be anyone. Her bar is way below you. Like, this, if it was like, oh, I I did this, but my my wife, oh, she's with Zac Efron. I'd yeah. wake up and be like, oh, that's true. Well, well, of, well of course, I, I would be too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man, that's so much worse. <laughs> Oh, you guys have really ruined this for me now. Oh, you're man. going back there tonight. Enjoy it. Yeah, oh. you're going to be able to get back to your dream. Congrats. Crap. All right. Is this real life? Okay, Al Borland, lay it out for us. What are we doing? Uh, <coughs> you guys are coming to the... <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry for that. <laughs> You have a mute button. I gave him a long amount of time. You totally to gave him a, I a very him slow, long intro so he could get prepared <laughs> I to talk. Did. You <laughs> caught me off guard because this is a segment where you guys are coming to the table with the articles uh, that you found. and That's and what he was looking for I'm right looking there. I'm looking for what you're saying right now. All I right. wanted you to explain the segment. <laughs> so, so, uh, so what, you, this? what you guys are going to do is... Uh, listen, back to you, Andy. Back to you. <laughs> Give me more time. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Thanks, Al. <laughs> All right, I'll explain it for us. Thank oh, you. Man. We have each gone and found <laughs> a... Blah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've each gone and found uh, an article uh, that is pretty uh, unbelievable, and we are bringing it to light um, for the enjoyment of us all. So who wants to start? Oh, my gosh. I'll go first. All right. <laughs> because I at first when I read this story, I didn't even know if this could be a story we talk about. It was Ooh, so... Too it, real? It was too real. Uh-oh. Are right, you ready for the headline? No. Ugly man. <laughs> ugly podcast. man loses wife to uglier man from Barnes & Noble. <laughs> Too All close right. to home. All right, no. Indiana parents say their adopted eight-year-old... Oh, was there, what, she was, was the adult? ...was actually a woman with dwarfism who tried to kill them. <laughs> no, I heard, what? I heard about this. I did not follow up, but I, I remember hearing the article going around. Wait this was like a week or two ago. Wait a minute. This and they, they, you're they, right. They abandoned. They abandoned their adopted daughter. But it wasn't an eight-year-old. <clears throat> I well, don't know. Well, well, here's here's where the rest of the story okay. comes true. They abandoned her. Before they abandoned her, they had the girl's age changed to 22. Before they abandoned her and left how for does, Canada. How does one do that? Wait a minute. You can. We can just change our age. But then Excellent. A, a, I'm 24 again, Bob. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> but a doctor examined the girl four, three years before they abandoned her and deemed her to be an eight-year-old girl. She does have a rare form of dwarfism and is from Ukraine. But the family insists that she tried to kill them multiple times. What is happening? That she's a sociopath and a con artist and actually an adult who got herself adopted what? as a pretend eight-year-old. But the doctor gave her the green light but the doctor, as an eight-year-old? So they basically got arrested for abandoning their daughter. Which they, one is it, though? Wow, but they this... pled not guilty to child neglect charges on the basis that she's actually a grown-up dwarf trying to murder them. Whoa. This, and then you wake up and you go, oh, is, good. And then it's you just wake a regular up. day. I mean, this is the, the Roger Rabbit. What was the, what was the baby in Roger Rabbit? Who had the cigars? I know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, that's like the grown-up. Nobody knows his name. But like he would always, he would just go into a house. <laughs> People know his name. Nobody knows his I'm name. I'm looking it up. Yeah, look well, it up. Because you have to. Yeah. It's Baby uh, Herman. Thank you. Did you know that or did you look that up? I looked it up. Yeah, exactly my uh, point. <laughs> I looked. It's, <laughs> it's Baby Herman. <laughs> it's Baby Herman. Uh, so. Uh, that is wild. Yeah, I mean, apparently this baby maybe. Eight year old has Man. ruined their life. They're now since divorced. How do you? Rule? She's now either six. The, the end of the story reads this: the girl who's now either sixteen or thirty years old has not responded for comment. Oh my goodness! Okay, well I've got one equally as wonderful. <clears throat> North Carolina assisted living facility workers. Oh no! 
accused of running a dementia resident fight club. Oh my gosh, what? So they ran a fight what? club no! among dementia residents in an elderly place, but it's like, or did they? Did did you do it? Well, I mean, rule number one. Right, you fight don't clubs. talk about the fight club. Rule number two, don't remember is, anything about the fight club. Here, what is happening? I know. So three women were arrested. From, oh but here's gosh. the thing. There are multiple what? locations. It wasn't it's just a like... a franchise? Like, I think they were starting a tournament style, <laughs> like an AFC, NFC thing here, where they, I mean... They were put, but there's there's video of like these seventy year old oh come on no. having having fights no so how do you those start? have to be the worst fights possible <laughs> it's just nothing's happening it's, it's just I want my money back it's this the first boring. person to fall over loses and then but okay. they lose big how? oh no <laughs> let's say you've got this thing going how do you have that first conversation with the neighboring dementia nursing home th- to get it started over there how does that first conversation oh go oh my goodness I listen mean, we're doing something pretty pretty special I mean, they over here like hey man are you cool <laughs> <laughs> that's how the conversation starts well, don't what do worry you mean? they won't remember oh I mean, that's this is on par is with like horrifying the, the there have been people and this is sad but there have been people that you know they, they pay the bums to oh, fight, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fight each yeah that was a big problem a few years ago Few years. Good. Wasn't that like the nineties? Was that later? What, well, Jason? I'm 24 again. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that was just. A few I must speak ago. in relative terms. <sighs> I forgot. Wow, that is real disturbing. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, is mine's this real life. I hope not. What's fu- What's interesting about this article that I'm going to talk about is <laughs> the the headline is startling, and then you realize, well, maybe maybe this is okay, but California legalizes eating roadkill what Cal- wait 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 <laughs> it was illegal okay, so to the eat he- roadkill but now it's legal that the now you can headline yes is it it is now legal to eat roadkill yes now roadkill is only considered things that were killed on a road by, by a car vehicles yeah so like if you strike a deer and the deer dies you now can register through the state and apply for a 24-hour wildlife hunting? salvage permit. Oh, good. I'm glad it wasn't a hunting license. No. Wait, 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 wait. I went hunting. There's a period of time between hitting the deer and registering for a 24 I can eat the deer There's permit? There's going to be an app. There's going to be an app. There's, no, big, no, no, no. That's for real? To do. <laughs> There's going to What, you just take a picture? People are going to be flying their vehicles into the forests. <laughs> yeah, so if you... The program will allow drivers who fatally injure or stumble upon. So you don't even have to be the. Stumble. You can just stumble upon. This looks fresh. And a deer, elk, antelope, or a wild pig, and you can remove it as long as you sign up for the 24-hour wildlife salvage permit. It's a pilot program, though. Oh, it's wow. going to start in three areas and then be evaluated for expansion. They're really hoping to roll it out nationwide. <laughs> I mean, is this is this something where like? There was a problem with carcasses on the side of there's the road. Lot, yeah, there's a lot. And of so that. they're like, look, guys, let me waste, pitch yes, you. Waste not, let want me, not. Let me pitch you the solution. What if we tell people it's okay, you can eat it. Now legal in California, <laughs> just picking pick- up the trash <laughs> so, and eating now it. Now it's super legal. <laughs> so you can do it, but they're also using this, and then they're going to use the app of like, High traffic areas, if there's a lot of reports happening, then they're going to go figure out why are so many animals being hit right here. So they'll use it to improve hmm. the driving situations. Well, that's good. I mean, we don't, I mean, that is the only but they, actionable but to get thing there. that sounds good. <laughs> but I to get there. I can't imagine ever hitting an animal and being like, man, I only wish, I wish it was legal for me to scoop that thing up. <laughs> I know. There's a lot of emotions that would go through. You know, None the, of them the are, can I eat that the, right away? The a- animal, you've got to worry about the ramifications probably to, to vehicle. Are are you okay? All of these. Oh, I'm starving right now. Problem I could solved. Re- I could really go for some of that meat over there. All That's, right. Well, that right. is. Uh, this is a weird life, man. Is this real life? Yes. Yeah, it's a surprise to me. All right, we ready to draft? Yep. The Spitballers Draft. All right, Al, I'm going to give you a second shot. I'm going to give you one more chance. 
Give him a little bit more time here before he comes in. Al Borland, why don't you explain what we're drafting? Uh, today we're drafting must-have smartphone apps. So you have a phone that has the base functionality of receiving and making calls and text messages. Other than that, there's no apps on it. And the four apps that you draft will be the only four apps on your phone. All right, this is challenging because I've, I, I just saw this topic right before we started the show. You're only drafting four apps. It's very upsetting. There are also things on your phone you take for granted as apps. Uh, you consider them basically as natural as text messaging and calling. Yeah. And so I had a first pick, but now I'm changing it. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm yeah. struggling with my first pick I, here. I wanted the number one because there's such a clear cut. Easy, obvious, number one. Well, I don't know if I've picked it or not, Jay, because I'm flying by the seat of my pants with the camera app. Oh! I want to be able to take a picture with my phone. Doki, all right. You can't take a picture with your phone. One closer to this guy. No, I look. I I think I know where you're headed, but I think having a phone, being able to take pictures, that's become pretty. part and parcel with having a, a phone not having to carry yes. a camera mm-hmm. it, i mean every year when you see a phone upgrade the iphone the new iphone what's new on it well it's kind of faster and the camera is way better mm-hmm. i'm trying to think of what i would miss the most on my phone and that other than you know if you already got texts i uh, camera's up there okay All and right. i i'm going to th- throw mine out there but i'm assuming that mine will cover all of the yeah, similar you're apps. so stupid. I, will take, I don't like you. I will take the internet. Yeah, that's the, so that's it's, the one I want. Specifically, I'll take Google Chrome because I don't want any of that Safari crap to be anywhere on my phone. So but basically just the, the ability browser. to look something. Yes. A browser. It's a browser. internet browser. Yeah. yeah, bro- yeah. No, I think that makes sense. Man. Jason, I guess that's what you were going with. Yeah, I mean, so those were good we had, And we had talked about this before the show where there are better apps. Like You don't think of... You don't think of the internet as an app right. on a phone. It's just there. But I didn't. That's why I chose camera. But if it was removed, but it kind I of lets take... you shortcut some of the other potential apps that apps that could be drafted. Exactly. That's. I mean, that's the trump card here. Does that it's... mean it's the best? Well, well I would have taken it. Pick. I would have yes. taken it one hundred and one for. <laughs> well, let's sure. see where you end up with these next few. All right. So, oh man, he this... pulls his phone out. You had one pick prepared. Uh, no. So uh, here's here's the deal. <laughs> All right. I know where I'm, I'm going. Out. Yeah, okay. So. Stepped out. <laughs> um, here's the thing. I, I'm really debating. You know, for the last many drafts, I've been all about all the what ones. I want over what gets votes. Mm-hmm. Right? And here, I'm thinking, well, what I really want, what I use the most, the apps on my phone, they're, they're very specific. They're too specific. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're they're not gonna do well, and I know what I should take here. I know the two apps I should take, both social media apps, kind of quarter that market. Sure, but if I were to take those two apps, you don't even know how how to use one of them. That is correct, and I don't use the other. So this is like really, <laughs> really not me. I think we were talking about the same one, and then you implied I don't use one, and I also don't. You can see no. you don't know how to use the other. No, I know what we're talking about. Um, so what are you going with? But Jason? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay. Because oh, okay. in a way, that's me. <laughs> yes. So I'm taking Facebook. That's the one he doesn't use. That's the one I don't use. And Instagram. That's the one I don't use because I don't really know how. You have to no use. idea how Dude, to use it. Dude, I get how to use it, but I don't use it because how do you just take pictures of? Your life and say everyone wants to see this. I just I can't get myself for a man who thinks he's that. on the Truman Show right now. I'm very surprised. Well, at but that. I don't. You know what I mean? It's but like they take pictures for me. They're doing it. Every, I paparazzi. Don't get me wrong. Paparazzi should definitely be doing their job better and really flagging me down and getting yeah me everywhere. But for me to do it feels just weird. What I love. Okay, so your your Facebook Instagram. So you are in, you have your problem with Instagram because you feel like no one. Why would you be sharing all these pictures mm-hmm. of yourself and your life? However, you have zero problems using my app to share your thoughts and your opinions. Yeah, yeah, totally. Because I guess I I think right now like I'll take Twitter. <clears throat> okay, sure. I was gonna say you're going. That's Twitter. the one I yes. use. 
And that makes sense. I have no problem because it's a lot of what I share there isn't necessary. You know, they're either jokes, which I think brings value to people. Like my opinions out there but are usually people jokes. Like pictures. Yeah, but they're not funny. I got to just start taking funny they're face pictures. But see, what you do is if you're like Mike and I, you take the picture, then the comment on the picture is yes. very snarky and fun. Mm. Like Mike says things like, I like fuzzy shoes. Yes. Over and over again. Oh, it's so snarky. Um, I do like fuzzy shoes. So you shoes. took Twitter. Yes. So you took the... The internet a third, okay. and Twitter. I was going to say, you, Mike's, Mike's accessing all of these so browser-based. Well, um, that's what I was going to say. Is you can still get to Facebook because it's not through your browser. That. I'm going to take music apps. Okay. Ah, very and I think nice. I, can, I think that I should not have to select one no, that's certain a, subscription. That's a killer pick. But, I mean, that's just why you have it. Uh, that's how it all got started, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. that's a, The iPod? I didn't even think of that one, and that one is great. And then I'm going to go with... Uh, the form of commu communication not guaranteed by texts and calls is email. Oh, so I'm going to go goodness. music apps and I'm going to go email apps. That I mean, those are those are juggernauts. Those yes. are powerhouses. Well, you guys are down there in the social media landscape. I'm going to take the big ones. Oh. Yeah, those those are both pretty intense. All right, I've got my next two picks. All right, I man. Now, I have, you're, now you're up against it. I am up against it. I mean, I have a huge list here, and it's where do I prioritize? I have to have this app. Oh, so you've, you're prepared yeah. for more than – you're not I like looked searching at my phone. for one. No, no. Okay. I looked at my phone. I said these are the apps that I use all the time, and if I, if I had a my, – my phone was wiped, these were the ones I would hope I'd remember to download. Right. Tune Blast. <laughs> <laughs> what is Toon Blast? That's probably my most. Oh, is that your fake uh, Candy yeah, Crush game? Exactly. That I, that's probably if you looked at my screen time, which I would <laughs> never let someone do. <laughs> be like, what is Toon Blast? And why are you on level ten thousand? And why have has it been a subject of conversation for years now? I look, you know, when you make are they a great still game, updating? I mean, I haven't hit the end yet, so. <laughs> Either they put it out right the first time Hashtag or they're still not, updating. not a sponsor. <laughs> All right. There's some very functional apps. You only got to make one pick. I know. I know. But uh, Jason is so confident in his picks that it's making me not confident Good. in what I'm doing over here. Tilt. I will. I'll take YouTube. Oh, dang it. I don't a, have two it's picks. It's a left. great pick. That's a great uh, pick. That was one you. of my two. Thank you. I, oh. I use YouTube all the time. And. Shoot. Yes, you can get there on a browser, but it sucks. The app is is way better. That double tap for 15 seconds forward is crucial. It's, oh, yeah, it's a real problem, too. It Dang. is. Yeah. That is, uh, man. Jason's browsing his phone. Toon Blast! Like, uh, <laughs> YouTube.com slash SpitballersPod. Ooh. That's true. You should check um, that out. All right. So I, I guess I know one of my picks since I had two to go with, and that's over. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take... Uh, maps. Uh, well, yeah, right. Google. Yeah, or Google I thought that uh, might trickle back to me and get some GPS action going uh, on. You know, I use it all the time whenever I'm looking things up, even when it's like I'm no, somewhere. No, no, we I'm know what maps. Yeah, do. we know what like a maps. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just we know how they work. Explaining, explaining the pick. <laughs> whenever I'm looking for a location, <laughs> it's a real key app for me. Whenever I need to look at a map, <laughs> see, uh, I pull up my maps app. And I can see locations and streets. There's a pick that I can't believe you haven't made. Let's put it that, that way. You can't believe I haven't made. Yes. Mm, okay. I don't normally tease somebody oh. else's picks. Oh. But there's a pick. How that, well do you know yourself? All right. Okay. That if you don't make all it. All right. No, I got it. I got it. And I wouldn't have had it if you didn't just say this. Oh, taking, yeah, of course. I am taking fantasy football apps. Oh, no, that's not the one, that's, Jason. It is. What? But it is a great pick. Uh, whatever, it is. It's fine. Whatever platform you want to play on ESPN or Yahoo or whatever, I'm, I'm taking your fantasy football app. So wait a minute. Oh, what man. is this? Now oh, I have to decide oh, wait, if I want to take it. Wait, you think you know it. Let me see. No, I 100% know what it is. Because oh yes, it's Postmates. <laughs> yes, that was the that was the one. I I'm not saying that's my pick. Oh no. man, because I'm gonna starve to death. Because there is a whole other section of apps that are, I think, are really important. <laughs> but the, these I apps don't deliver Wendy's to my house. <laughs> oh man, oh man. So this let, is, while while you think Mike terrible, while you think Jason took Facebook, Instagram, Maps, and fantasy football apps. I have uh, the camera app, music apps, email, 
And then, Mike, you have a web browser, you have Twitter, you have YouTube. And real quick, I'll I'll go ahead and correct. It's YouTube.com slash Spitballers. Drop the pod. Oh, I apologize. The mm. website is Spitballers Pod. Correct. Again, right. YouTube.com slash slash Spitballers. I think you can get there now. All right. Excuse me. How do you spell? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take. I'm gonna take the money apps like PayPal. Oh, okay. Zelle, Venmo, Apple Pay. I, I think that's solid. Like it's it's not as fun and as sexy as the as Postmates. It's very but, practical, but it's it's pretty important. I and I hear the young people are doing a lot of a lot of Venmoing yeah. these days. Okay. I will close it out without. Postmates being drafted. Mm. Oh, I'm going right. to take Netflix. So, waiver wire claim. I'm taking the Netflix. Yeah, app. I didn't need it with my YouTube. Yeah, I mean, I get it. The part and parcel is a little bit different, though, and I think Netflix is key. Do you guys watch Netflix on your and phone? And that was the thing, because I've never rarely, once in my life. Very rarely do I do that. Yeah, I do. I think but my, my iPad might iPad. have died on a plane trip once, and and so I, I watched it on my phone. Yeah, I do. I think a lot of people do. So I'm going to go. I'm going to close it out with Netflix. Had I thought so of the, Postmates and Uber Eats, those don't don't I, get drafted. I was going to say the genre. We've been drafting genres. Yeah. So if you drafted food delivery, yeah, that would have worked. That's excellent. That's a that's a high waiver priority pick. I mean, and obviously you can do those from a web browser. Mike can <clears throat> Mike can order food from his I web can. browser. I can do everything. Somehow I'm picturing you because you drafted web browser. I'm picturing like a 1991 <laughs> Na- Netscape Navigator is how you're navigating the web. I specified who, Chrome. I, you did, Thank you. But, but then we made it web browser. Mm-hmm. So on my short w- list, w- w- Uber and Lyft were on my short oh, list. Yeah. But we don't live in a, we're in the suburbs, so we don't use it all the time. Slack. Slack I mean, is on my not list. Not everybody uses it, but if you're someone that uses someone like something like Slack or what's that? What's, what, what's app? WhatsApp? WhatsApp. When you use the, apps like that, they are your most. And the actual, the one that would be the most important for me personally and my brand, not so much for everyone else, but Giphy. Giphy oh, is yeah. crucial to my life. It's how I communicate. Yeah, for somebody that doesn't like small talk, you don't mind small gifts. No. Because if you could hold a GIF up in an elevator to somebody, yeah, yeah, wouldn't that be perfect? That'd be good. Look, maybe you I pull your do, phone out. I, we've there's there's the whispers in the bushes that f- Facebook is making the oasis, right? Mm-hmm. They're making the, the virtual world for the oculus and if i can go in there and just live and then my communications in in the little hubs or the town squares i just throw up gifts it's gonna be great my family will never see me again <laughs> they'll see you if they yeah in you want, the oasis yeah. okay all right well, i think brooks is shouting at his podcast apps yeah po- ah, uh, podcast take apps. it or leave them yes. <laughs> What did we learn today? Well, I, I learned that um, I learned two things. I learned that Brendan Fraser's peak was very small. <laughs> and I learned that Ch- Chihuahua Island is a, a thing on the Internet. I learned a couple of things myself as well. I learned that uh, Mike hates being late. Yes. That was really Shocking, right? revolutionary to, to my way of thinking. Um, and I also learned that Andy is fearful that his wife might be uh, into some <laughs> grocery store clerk that's way below. It was him. Barnes and Noble. Oh, Barnes and Noble. That employee. doesn't even exist anymore. Oh yes, it does. It does. Oh yeah, I take the kids there all the time. Barnes and Noble. There is still a Barnes. You didn't and know Noble. that. Who yep. am I thinking? Of? Borders. Borders. There was another Borders. one. There was another. There was another bookstore that used to be in the mall. I okay. thought it was a B. All right. No. All right. Well, they're gone. That's Borders. why you don't they're know what it is. Definitely gone. Yeah, Borders. You're talking at Dalton, right? It wasn't. Yes. It was called. Something Dalton. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Be in Dalton? Sure. Ah, something like that. Who knows? If only we had an internet, if we could look that Be up. Be Dalton. Be Dalton. Be Dalton. Yes. yes. All right. Thank we got you. There. No, Barnes & Noble's still going strong. They're slowly converting from books to toys and yes. coffee. Yes. Toys? Oh, oh there's you got so many toys. Hold on. In there. There's so many toys well, in there. Harry right? Potter toys. They got more Honestly, Harry Potter toys than books. No joke. Got, like we, They didn't have the book. I went there to get the seventh book. No, nope, they didn't have it, but if you want a Harry Potter toy... They pivoted to toys. There's, it's a lot of the novelty stuff you see on our spitballer's desk. A lot of pop culture toys, games, magazines, 
coffee. I mean, there's books, but they're they're slowly being replaced by like Legos. Say, did they see the giant business model toy store? <laughs> Think, yeah. They're trying to absorb some of those customers. <laughs> like, Toys R Us couldn't get it done, but you know who could? Barnes and Noble, baby. I guess so. So apparently that's what I've learned, that Barnes and Noble is still around. There you go. So All right. Toys. Glad to be back. Thanks for the support. Looking forward to many more Spitballers episodes, and thanks for stopping by spitballerspod.com and supporting the pod. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Spitballers Podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.